Hey, so, um, my car got towed. Hello? Yes. Hi, how are you doing? Um, so, I went and checked outside a little bit ago and I noticed my car wasn't there. I believe it was towed away. It had been sitting for a while. Yeah. Would you need the VIN number? Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. Bye. They're gonna help me get to the bottom of this. We're gonna get my car. We're gonna find out where it's at, how much it is. Hopefully it wasn't stolen. So yeah, I went outside and um, I check up in my car periodically and I go outside and I was like, I just got this weird gut feeling and uh, my car wasn't there and I walked back to the house I'm like wait a minute what I couldn't even believe my eyes like it took me a minute to process it so I walked back out there and my car really wasn't there I walked up the block didn't see nothing and uh, yeah so now I'm calling around I called a towing company they told me to contact the police uh, I googled a non-emergency line but I'm getting transferred to the right numbers and everything right now I got in touch with my city's uh, trooper and uh, he's gonna call around and see if they could find out where it was towed to if any of the other officers have had it towed or if it was stolen or not so oh, fingers crossed oh, I'm hoping for the best my dad helped me get that car I mean, when I was truck driving I needed a car so he didn't have to come pick me up and everything like that and he went halves with me he went a little more than halves with me he paid a little bit more than it but it ended up coming to $5,000, $5,000 vehicle, but it's a Dodge Avenger. The freaking thing looks like a Batmobile. Yeah, I really would like to get my car back. That's completely paid off. I remember he always wanted that car. I never let him have it. And here I am. I lost the goddamn car. So now I got to get it. I got to get it back. Yeah, I just can't believe it. Oh, man. My heart's racing. My mind is racing. I feel like everything is just like crumbling around me. And I'm drinking coffees like it's my job. Here's to get into the bottom of everything. Hopefully solving this freaking problem. Get my car back. Yeah, my car had been sitting for a while. I uh, I got injured at work, um, and I lost my job. I lost my apartment, and my father ended up passing away. I've just been going through a crazy, just like crazy time. Just been really depressed, and I haven't really been holding myself up. So like, I'm trying to get back on my feet and. Uh, I find out that my car was towed, so we gotta start somewhere, so we're gonna start here. We're gonna find out where it's at, how and hopefully it didn't get stolen. If it's impounded, I I know it's gonna cost a fortune, but hopefully they I can do payments or something because my car just means too much to me. And it's a shame too because my friend was offering to give me a battery from their car because they have a car just sitting around and they need they got a battery and I think it's the right one I would go in my vehicle. I could just do that, don't even have to take it to get it charged or anything, just replace it. Oh man, this is driving me crazy. Keep you guys posted. Man, I just got off the phone with the place that towed my car. 
the officer was able to find out where it was towed to, and uh, it's not good. It's not good at all. It was sitting for a while. I'll give you that. It was sitting for a while. But it was marked as abandoned by the state, and uh, it's been sitting there. So, hold on. So the storage fee is $2,900. The towing fee is $300, and the paperwork fee is $50. The storage fee goes up $75 a day, and as of today, I'm up to $3,275 I'll have to pay back, and you can't make payments. It's all gotta be paid in one fay, one, one sweep. As I'm gonna have to pay this, I'm gonna have to somehow come up with it, well, even more money, because I don't have this today. And, have it towed as well to a place that I could sit until I could put a battery in it and get it rain. Everything redone to it. Man. Man. Pretty bad out there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so all hope is not lost. We're gonna take a walk over to this one place I used to work at and see if we can't get a job today. Today, not happening. This is a face of defeat. I have been defeated. I didn't stand a chance out there. Okay, so it's like I came in and the storm stopped. So, I guess we're going back out. the snow. It's so floofy. Oh man. So it's just up this hill and then we're gonna make a left and we'll be there. All right so we're here. Hopefully this goes well. Wish me luck. Okay so <laughs> Before I could even get in the building, the security guy stopped me and he said, uh, he said to come back tomorrow and I could uh, fill out an application that they are hiring. So I'm going to do that. If I have to come back tomorrow, I have to come back tomorrow. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to come back tomorrow and then we're going to move up. 
from there. It's only up from here. So hopefully tomorrow we go put in the job application and it all works out and we get a job. And I could get my car out of the impound. Uh. If you're wondering where my car was parked, see that blue house with the boarded up windows, the abandoned building? Well, that guy that owns that place, that property, gave me permission to park in front of his house for as long as I fucking needed to. So somebody on that street had my car towed, and I don't think it was him. Fuck you for that. Fuck you. Good afternoon. I just woke up. It's 12.59 in the afternoon. I have to go over and fill out a job application. And I usually fill out the application and then I'll get interviewed right there. The security guard last night said that they're hiring, so that's more than likely going to happen. My plan is to work this job and open up a bank account again, get like a $5,000 loan, get my car out, get everything it needs, work for the year, paying off the loan. That's the only thing I could think of. It's the only plan I could come up with. So, that's the plan. It's windy as hell today. We're on our way, we're gonna go fill out this job application, and I did not come empty handed today, I brought the camera, we're gonna get some shots. Some birds and squirrels and shit in that park I was walking through. You ever feel like the universe is just working against you? It's just like, on days when I'm not doing anything, this weather is warm enough for fucking daisies. But, whenever I need to do anything, the wind's blowing, it's hurricane winds, it's freezing, several different seasons happening in one day. It's like it's trying to stop me from succeeding. But I'm not giving in. You're stuck here with me, I'm not stuck here with you. Bitch. When I was walking through here yesterday, with all that snow and everything, it's flocks of birds everywhere. Everywhere, they were all over here. Flying around, ducking and dodging, dipping and weaving. But today, it doesn't seem like the case. Right now I'm just trying to get to the warehouse so I can fill out the application, and then on the way back, I'll try to get some shots of some birds or something. Right now I'm just in a hurry. It's already late in the day. I slept in too late anyway, so I need to get this done and then on the way back, I'll try to get some shots. Look at the little kitty poop. Or the puffy. I got my other camera in the book bag right now, but uh, I'm gonna try to bring you guys inside. Well, I fill out this application. If I can't, <laughs> sorry, but I'll try. I'll try. All right, we're here. So we're gonna go through the door and fill out an application. Hi. Hi. I'd like to fill out an application. We, it's all online now. Oh, it is. Yeah, you, you go. All right. Looks like we're gonna do this online. I didn't even have to walk here. All right, well, I guess all I could do is walk home. Sorry, I just got completely sidetracked by that bird there. I wanted to get a, a slow-mo shot of it. I didn't know whether to pull out the big camera or use this. But I guess all we could do now is just go home. Go to this website he wrote down for me and uh, try to apply there. Man, it used to be so much easier. Things used to be just so much easier. You used to go into a job, you grabbed an application, you filled it out, and you turned it in there. Easy. Now, I have to have an internet connection and an email and an Indeed account, probably. I mean, yeah, you want a resume and everything like that. Like, I mean, come on. But I just miss being able to get a fucking job in person. I miss that. This internet bullshit sucks, and I'm like, I grew up with it, and I fucking hate it. I can't fucking stand it. It's mostly the reason why I don't get a job, because you gotta do all this shit online, and like, it's just bullshit. 
I want to walk into a place, fill out an application, turn my application in and get a call back. What happened to that? And now I'm going to whip out the big camera. Stay. Okay, so now it's time to fill out this application. If my browser wants to load, but right now I have a lot of video files on my computer and these GoPro files are freaking gigantic. So slow my computer down. I gotta get rid of shit or get an external hard drive. Let's go. Let's go. Hopefully this is the right site. All right, I'm gonna fill this out and hopefully we get an email back. One sugar. A two. Sixty sugars. A drop of milk. Stir. All right, let's go fill out this application. Yo, I just filled out the whole freaking request. And then I click submit and look, the page isn't working. What's wrong with you, dude? What is wrong with you? Come on. All right, we just finished filling it out again. Now, all I could do is wait and hopefully I get a call back or an email. I'm gonna be looking for other jobs in the meantime. If you're in the area and you're watching this, hit me up. If you need employees, I'm willing to work. But I guess I'm gonna close this off here. Thank you for watching. See ya.